Let's have a look at some groups fired with the Taws 16 at 50 yards. First one here is with the uh, Winchester Dynapoint GT. This is the 40 grain standard velocity stuff. And you can see the group there. Not too bad. First for 10 shots. The point of aim was just below the black here, so the rifle sights to uh, the point of aim pretty good. The wind is just good. And that's with the sight set for 50 meters. Next group we got here is with the SK Magazine 22. This is uh, target velocity, 40 grain as well. And it shot a good group as well. Once again, um, it's a bit windy here today, and the sun is right behind me, so it's a little hard to get a good sight picture. Anyway, we're going to try a few more types, and we'll show you those once we get set up. All right, here's some Imperial IVI target ammo. This is probably 25 years old. Group is not super, but all right. Next, we'll go over to some Federal bulk pack, and that is uh, let's see what's a bullet weight on that. 36 grain. Oh, by the way, this uh, this Imperial is 40 grain. And the Federal Champion Value Pack, 36 grain, and it shot a pretty decent group, really. There's one down below there, but I did pull one. Um, that's probably the one I pulled that got away from me a little early, so I suspect that one's my fault. And the next group is with this uh, Winchester T22 Target, 40 grain. And it shot a very poor group, just huge. I've had very bad luck with that ammo. Anyway, I'll patch these up and we'll shoot uh, three more groups with three different types of ammo. All right, we got three more 50-yard groups here. First one is with CCI Stingers, 32 grain. And uh, you can see the group there, not all that great. Fairly big spread, probably three and a half inches. Which doesn't really surprise me because I haven't found Stingers to be all that accurate. This group here surprises me though. This is fired with some old Remington uh, Yellow Jackets. These are 33 grain, I think. Uh, kind of a hyper velocity round. And look at the group they fired. It's pretty darn good for for the hyper velocity stuff. That's probably only an inch and three quarters. And believe it or not, there are actually 11 shots in that group because I thought I let one of them away kind of bad and I thought it'd be down way down here somewhere, so I fired an extra shot. So although it doesn't look like it, there are actually 11 shots in there. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So that's 3 in that one hole there. So I'm kind of pleased with that. And we've got next, we get the Winchester 333 bulk pack. And that's uh, 36 grain hollow point. And they shot pretty decent too. We've got one down here, but with the exception of that, uh, we've got a real good cluster going on there. And again, that's that's 10 shots, so this little uh, inexpensive Taz rifles turned out to be uh, a real good shooter, and I'm kind of getting used to the trigger pull. The uh, two-stage trigger is is great once you get uh, get it figured out. So we'll set up and we'll shoot some more.
I just want to give you an idea of some of the wind I'm dealing with today. So uh, keep this in mind when you see the groups that I'm shooting. You can check up here in the treetops. You can see the, uh, the trees are moving around pretty good. We're getting some pretty good gusts here. So it's not quite that bad down at ground level, but it's pretty gusty today. And uh, that doesn't help matters any. Okay folks, three more groups here. Uh, once again shot with the Taz 16 at about 50 yards. Uh, this group that I'm going to show you here is fired with the Remington uh, Subsonic 22s, the low noise type. And they are quite quiet as the, uh, as the video will attest to. I did a little bit of video while I was shooting these and it's they're quite quiet. Um, here's the group. We've got uh, nine of the rounds clustered down here. And we got one up there. Of note, I set the sights to the 75 meter setting. And with the sight set to 75 meters, it put them just about the point of aim at 50. So the reduced velocity does make the point of impact drop a bit. And I was uh, lucky there because otherwise they probably would have been right off the target if I hadn't done that. Uh, the next round that I fired were these uh, CCI CB longs. These are the really ultra slow ones, only. Uh, rated for 710 feet per second. They're a 22 long cartridge case with the 22 short bullet in it and a very small charge powder. So you get a 29 grain bullet. And I didn't quite have 10 left in this box. It's the only one I brought with me. I think I fired seven, I believe. And you can see they shot a pretty big group. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, there were seven left in that box that I fired. And of note here, I set the rear sight of the rifle to, I believe it was the 125 meter setting to get that to hit where it did at 50. So once again, a pretty good guess as to where they were going to impact. These CB longs, in my experience, don't shoot very good groups. They're really like a 25 yard sort of ammo. Uh, the next one I fired was this CCI Mini Mag. And it's the copper plated 40 grain round nose. And uh, it shot pretty well. You've got a 10 shot group right around there. And this one I put the sights to 75 meters just because I was kind of shooting the heck out of this part of the target. I just wanted to get some fresh uh, place for the bullets to hit. So that brought the point of impact up to about the center of the target. So, anyway. I guess that just about does it. I've used all the different types of ammo that I brought with me today, so give you an idea what the uh, the Taws will do.